Hey Sag, welcome. I hope wherever you are in the world, I hope you know just how prosperous you are, Sagittarius. Thank you so, so much for joining me for another reading. I'm going to begin with the white card, Sag, and then I'm going to clarify that energy using the tarot and the oracle. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? What's stopping you? What's stopping you? You could feel like something is standing in the way of you moving to the next level, to the next phase, to the next place. Okay, to the next idea, to the next project. Just moving on to the next. Okay, whatever that is, however that is, it could be in multiple ways. Okay, what's stopping you, Sagittarius? Is it something really stopping you? Is it you? Okay, do you feel like it's something standing in the way? Someone standing in the way? Let's see. What's stopping you from taking this leap of faith? What's stopping you from um, starting that thing that you want to start, that you've been thinking about? Okay. What's stopping you from dating or, or seeking the person that you desire to be with? Okay. Or the type of person you desire to be with? Okay. So much is coming uh, to my mind when I see this. Uh, what's stopping you, Sagittarius? I feel like the possibilities are absolutely in endless, especially when it comes to you. Okay, what happens after what's stopping you for Sag? You already know. So you already know what's stopping you. If you feel as though you're being stopped, if you feel as though you're at a standstill, Sagittarius, this message is very clear. Okay, it looks like you already know what those things are. Have you accepted it? Like, are you in denial about these things? Okay, wow, you already know. And it's like you already know what you want, too. Yeah, <laughs> you already know what you want, too. Very fiery, okay? You already know what you want, okay? It's just this feeling that you got, okay? You you already know what what you need, what you need to do next. But, you know, there is something that you feel like you, you need to take care of first. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know, but guess what? You already know. You already know, Sag. And I'm feeling like you already know, like, that there is this... Mm, I'm getting um a relationship as well. There is a relationship that you already, you already know is what you want, okay? Something doesn't have to be said between you and somebody. Let's see. What happens after you already know? tomorrow tomorrow's not promised you already know that tomorrow's not promised so you already know that in order for you to move on or to get to the next level or to start whatever you're going to start you know that it takes you to put in action tomorrow's not promised you know tomorrow's not promised you've been through enough to know and to understand the value of today the value of now, okay? This is very, very fiery. Like, I'm feeling very, very fiery. And you guys, I got um, all red on. Um, man, I should have... Um I should have uh, recorded. I may, I may come back and do a reading showing me, you guys. Because, yes, I'm red down from my head to my toes. All right? <laughs> so, um... Yeah, you already know that tomorrow's not promised. I'm feeling a very fiery energy, a, a very um, strong need for you to put in action, for you to go ahead and do whatever you feel like you need to do in what area or areas those are. Like, I just feel like you're about to be in this season of moving, of getting things done, of um, not holding back, uh, not waiting for the per per perfect opportunity, but creating the perfect opportunity. Okay, what happens after tomorrow's and I promise for Sage? Ooh, roller coaster. Mmm. And you know what? What I just said was so damn sad to say. <laughs> If you have another fire sign, if you have other fire placements, you'll be able to relate to this energy as well as Aries, Leo, or any sign. But it's just a very fiery energy here with this roller coaster because with tomorrow's not promise, <laughs> this is so sad. With tomorrow's not promise and a roller coaster, it's like, okay, Sagittarius, you could have looked at a situation. 
you would have looked at the situation, multiple situations, and, and thought, well, you know, I have to go ahead and jump on this. I have to go ahead and put in action towards this thing or that thing. And then you ended up in the damn, on a damn roller coaster. You were sick, okay? You could have been physically sick, okay? Mentally, emotionally sick, okay? From making a decision based off of uh, tomorrow not being promised. So I'm getting there could have been a a rash decision okay maybe a quick decision maybe you didn't fully think something through okay but i see you already know here so you feel like regardless of the roller coaster okay regardless of you getting on this roller coaster you not knowing that it was going to be a roller coaster but you got on the ride it's like okay say if you go to a carnival and you see like a little kitty ride you you're not thinking you're about to go upside down on that kitty ride so you're thinking that okay this looks like it's going to be comfortable. This is like it's going to be cool. This is like it's going to be exciting for me. And you get on that ride. And the next thing you know, it's doing turns and flips that you never thought. It's like this unexpected change happens. But I feel like with you already know, it's like you've been led to, to make these decisions. You've been led to act on certain situations. So I feel like you're trusting the process, especially with this roller coaster here. You're trusting the process of, you know, things not always going as planned, all right? Because everything is not going to go the way that you imagine it to go, okay? They're called surprises, you guys. So I'm getting, you could be getting surprised or something could really catch you off guard or surprise you. Something is surprising you. Wow, somebody wants to surprise you. What happens after roller coaster? Next lifetime. Woo! Intense, intense. I need to uh slide these over. I want to pull one more white card, okay? Next lifetime, tomorrow's not. Pro oh my goodness, it's like you feel like Sagittarius. If you don't act on something in this lifetime, you're gonna have to wait till next lifetime. And I feel like you could be having a difficult time accepting that, okay? Um, that you're gonna have to wait until the uh, next lifetime, or this person is uh, going to have to wait until the next lifetime because there's something happening here that is. <laughs> causing you to make a major decision okay or you've been thinking about making a major decision someone is thinking about making a, a major decision regarding you and it's concerning this lifetime yeah and i see y'all have my i have my mother earth sitting right here so I feel like this could have a lot to do with you being grinding and how you want to like settle in life, where you want to go, who you who you want to go with, who you want to be with. OK, this is very, very intense because I feel like you could feel like or someone else or you and someone else could feel as though um, you're being uh, pushed to make a decision. And it has a lot to do with being grounded. Wow. It's something that you feel like you, you're not going to be able to come back from for some reason. Let's see. What happens after next lifetime? So you could have met someone new. You could have met someone new. I'm definitely feeling a relationship is involved in this message, Sag. What happens after next lifetime? Laughter. Oh. Oh. I see. I see. I see. <laughs> Something's going to happen next lifetime if it doesn't happen this lifetime. <laughs> it's going to, if, it, if it's not happening in this lifetime, Sagittarius, it's going to happen in the, in the next lifetime. Something is, is meant to happen. So it's something that I feel like you could be in your head about, okay, very emotional about. But with you being fire, says you, this may not show like how it feels to you. You know what I'm saying? It may not. It, it may not come off as, as if this is an issue. Like you have this, you have this fire burning around you where that's all is being shown to yourself and also to others like that mutability that you have as a fire sign being the mutable fire sign that you are Sagittarius you're able to adapt to certain things and I feel like whatever the situation is Sagittarius I feel like it only made your flame burn even brighter 
And I see this laughter here because it's like, Sagittarius, you already know something. And I feel like I'm feeling like some type of mutual understanding that you have with another person. There's a mutual understanding that you have with another person, with a group of people. But I am picking up on a love situation. OK, there is something that is meant to happen. No matter which lifetime it happens in, if it hasn't happened yet, it's going to happen. And I feel like there's a situation where Sagittarius, however you're in your head or in your heart about it, it's like you might as well just relax about it because it's going to happen. And I feel like you already know it. You already know it. Tomorrow is not promised, but then you have the next lifetime. Tomorrow's not promised in this one, but you have the next lifetime. Okay, it's something Sagittarius that is requiring a patience from you that is like no other because it has a lot to do with lifetimes. Not tomorrow, not just tomorrow. Forever. So I feel like this is very, very spiritual for you. You're in a very spiritual phase of your life. If you're if you're not already, you could be coming into that. You, you could be like, oh, shit. Like, you could be waking up to another level in your life, spiritually, when it comes to your opportunities. Because you have tomorrow's not promised. What's stopping you? So, you've been faced with a lot of challenges here, Sagittarius, on making decisions based off of life and death. Wow. That's deep, though. That's really deep. And you have this laughter here. So it's something dealing with some type of connection. We all have connections. It doesn't make sense to me, you guys, um, to read tarot for people and not talk about people. We are us. This is us. This is this is us. There will always be someone to discuss because we are all connected in some way in this life. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the tarot because this is very deep. So I feel like you've had many connections here that you've learned um, a lot of lessons from. And it has a lot to do with letting go too, letting something go, embracing things. Ooh, Sag, this is very deep. Let's see. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Make sure y'all drop me a comment down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And thumbs up this video. Share these messages. Ooh, you got the emperor coming out. This is about self. You could be connected to an Aries. Hmm. Whoever this is, they have Aries in their chart. Most definitely. I feel like you've gotten to know yourself. What's stopping you? Mm, I see justice with the moon. Wow. What is stopping you? It has a lot to do with your emotions. You realize that there's a lot of uh, things that affect that you emotionally have been stopping you. Mentally have been stopping you from taking action. What happens after the emperor? Hmm. Yep, tower. You learned a lot, Sagittarius, about yourself and those around you. Hmm. Wow, you're going after something most definitely. It doesn't matter that that shit is blowing up in your face. That doesn't matter. Wow, what happens after the tower? Could be connected to a Scorpio or Aries. You got the King of Cups. So you come out stronger throughout something, Sag. Throughout a difficult situation, you've grown emotionally with this King of Cups. Hmm. Somebody sees you. Somebody sees you through the chaos and admires you. Strong, strong emotions, strong feelings for you. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You got the five of cups. Tomorrow's not promised. It's something that it's really bothering someone. If I don't make a move, someone feels like if they don't make a move, if I don't make a move now, I may not ever know what that's like. And I feel like this is so fiery. Like this is so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sagittarius energy. 
It's showing up in these cups and it's showing up as someone who is, is very emotionally strong. But they're weak when it comes to something that they really want to go after or something that they really want. Ooh, someone that they really want. And I see these cups. So this is emotional. Mm. Wow. It, it's, it's the abundance for me, uh, Sagittarius. It's how you give for me. It's how you show up for me. I feel like you're going to be blessed anyway because simply because of how you show up, Sag. What happens after the five of cups? Wow, coming out with the roller coaster. This balance, this two of pentacles. Damn. Like something made you very upset, Sagittarius, when you realized that something wasn't what you expected it to be. But you've had to come to terms with things aren't going to be always how you expect it to be. But once you understand your energy with this two of pentacles and this roller coaster, you can ride any damn roller coaster you want. Hmm. What happens after the uh, the two of pentacles? Wow. You can ride any roller coaster you want and create your own happiness. In whatever lifetime. Let's see. What happens after the two of pentacles? Mm -hmm. Wow. You got that knight of wands there with that two of pentacles. On this there roller coaster. I know that somebody wants to join you on this roller coaster. Or it, I mean, it would, it would feel nice if someone was on this roller coaster with you. Hmm. But I see Sagittarius with this knight of wands. You know how to ride some shit out. Like, you know, you know how to get through a situation that is difficult. Hmm. There's someone who's highly attracted to you. Highly attracted to how you ride the roller coaster, Sagittarius. Okay. Wow. I mean, someone is seeing you as a go-getter. I'm hearing someone say this, like, you're such a go-getter. You're so ambitious. Wow. <laughs> someone is seeing you as magical, too, uh, Sagittarius. Seeing you as magical. So, I, I feel like you could be beginning to become more grounded. What happens after the Knight of Wands? Hmm. Got the Eight of Cups. Look at that. Walking into that next lifetime. Wow. And it's difficult. Like, uh, Sagittarius, it, it could have been, it could, could be very difficult for you to, like, walk away from a decision. Like, you want to be able to make multiple decisions at once. Hmm. But there must be balance. I just saw the Justice card a second ago. There must be some type of balance. Like, you're going to have to choose. You're going to have to choose, Sagittarius. Wow. Some of you are choosing to do something in the next lifetime. Hmm. And not this one. Who you have laughter coming up. Hmm. Some of you are choosing to do something and to be patient and wait until the next lifetime. What happens after the four of swords? You got the king of swords. This could be dealing with the air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Mm. So, uh, Sagittarius, I see a king of cups and I see a king of swords. You're showing up here as this knight of wands. Hmm. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Very, very heavy. Very, very much is giving um, hearts over head decision. Head over heart decision here with the with the King of Cubs representing water. That emotional, that more emotional energy. And this, this King of Swords with laughter um, mm, representing the intellect. Wow. 
So I'm saying that in your heart, you already know something in your heart. In your mind, you already know something with this laughter, with this king of swords. Ooh, this is very, very intense. Let's go ahead and get some love messages, Sage. Wow, I cannot. You have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Something is happening. Someone may not be waiting for this next lifetime. Someone is, but someone is not waiting. Like something is changing. There's two people. I'm feeling like one of them is you, <laughs> Sag. There's two people who are calling in their soulmate. Because it says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay? And I feel like something is much stronger with it just not being on you. And it's two people here, not one. So I'm getting said, like, if you're thinking about somebody or if you're wanting something to be a certain way, especially in love, then something is definitely happening in more than one place at a time. This person is thinking about you. What happens after calling in your soulmate? Wow. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Damn. And I see this king of cups and this king of swords. You already know what you want. But there's an ex that needs to be released. Oh, there's an ex that needs to release you. What is going on here? What is going on? What happens after release your ex? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Someone's not supposed to be with someone, someone that they're with. They're realizing that someone that they was with, this ex was in the way of something let's see what happens after flirt wow chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here somebody wants to let somebody go someone has let somebody go and there's something new But with this next lifetime, I'm getting that, Sag, someone here has not let someone go or something go. Let's pull some signs, you guys. You have Gemini. You have Virgo. You have Libra. Mm. This person really wants to balance. Someone wants to balance something out emotionally with you. Mm -mm. Someone's not letting something go. Someone feel like they can't let something go. You have Leo. Something is too good. Too good to let go. Virgo. Someone thinks about this on a daily basis. Daily basis. Aries. Someone is very selfish when it comes to an experience with you. Mm. I'm getting multiple people. I'm picking up on multiple people here. Sagittarius. Let's get some soul's journey. Hmm. 
I just saw gratitude. It's something you need to be grateful for, Sage. You have judgment. I feel like someone's trying to decide something. It says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. It's something that you're accepting. You're accepting your path. I see this Eight of Cups in this next lifetime. Yeah, you've accept, accepted your path. Your walk doesn't have to look like the next person's walk. How you do shit doesn't have to be like be like how the next person does shit. This is uniquely yours. Sage. Why is judgment here? You have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. This is you, Sagittarius. And you know that whichever path you go down, you know that at the end of the day, you have to take care of you. You cannot blame anyone else for your choices. And neither can the next person. You are responsible emotionally, even if it is your emotions, for your own feelings. And it's something that you had to let go of emotionally because you had to choose you. Yeah. Why is blame here? You have gratitude. Look at that gratitude coming right back out. It says, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So regardless of anything that you have to walk away from, that is painful because Sagittarius, I feel like you're a very passionate person. Okay. And people can um, feel or get a little lost with the word passion because passion also comes from how you feel. They're your emotions. So I feel like you're learning to be grateful for your path. You're learning to see your, your passion for what it is and how it has played a part in the decisions that you've made thus far. Hmm. It's something that you're laying to rest, but it's something that is coming back around. Like something is coming back around to you here with laughter and gratitude. And you have this king of swords. So this is about you knowing, about you knowing where you're going, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of what it may feel like. Mm. Wow, Sagittarius. This is very, this is a very spiritual message for you. Hmm. Let's get one for gratitude. Ooh, you have honesty. So you've been honest with yourself or you're needing to be honest with yourself. Someone wants to be honest with you about how they feel. About what they think. This could be you as well. About how they feel and what they think. Someone could have blamed you for something here. Someone's very grateful, grateful to you. Grateful for your honesty, Sagittarius. So I'm getting there's a um, quite a deep connection happening here. Let's see. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? You have course shield. Hmm. Yeah, someone is not wanting to pass up on this feeling that you and them share or they get with you it could be connected to a Gemini, Virgo, Libra, Leo, Virgo, Aries. It's showing up heavy. It could be any sign, but these are the signs that are pulling strongly. I also feel Aquarius as well. Hmm. Why is courtship here? Could be a cancer. Why is courtship here? With the number four. Courthouse. Mm. Intense. So there could be a marriage involved. Let's see. And then you have official person. There could be a marriage involved, an engagement, an agreement. Um, something positive. Something um something positive. Let's see. What happens after official person? Why is this official person standing here? Why is this person involved? You could be marrying an official person. 
person that you con you consider to be official. There could be a marriage that you're hearing of. High honor. Very intense. Someone holds you in very high honor. And I feel like um, Sagittarius, there is someone here who wants to experience something with you in this in this lifetime but someone is literally willing to wait i gotta get one more there's somebody here who's official what happens after high honor for sage Ooh, a mature woman a mature man this could be you sagittarius or this could be this person you have the number 6, 4, 23, 22, 25 could be significant. 6, 9, 10, 8, 9, 4. Hmm. That's very intense, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and get some hidden truth. You speak to me through music. Someone could be a mu musician, could love music. Okay, you and this person can listen to music together. I couldn't let you get close to me. Hmm. Someone held back. Had a lot to had a lot to do with their emotions. This could be you, or this could be this person. Or you and this person. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Here's some more blame. Someone blamed you for something. When it was them all alone. They judged you for something Sagittarius. That they should have been judging themselves for. It had something to do. It could be a mature woman here. Or an official person. An older person. Could have judged you for a decision that you made. That, that had a lot to do with your passions. Had a lot to do with how you felt emotionally. Hmm. Let's get one more. I regret lying to you. Someone wasn't being honest about how they feel. You could realize this, Sag. Let's get your side to this, Sagittarius. And I see this eight of cups walking away from something. <laughs> wow. Walking away from some type of judgment. This could be dealing with family, with a, a romantic connection. See, sex with you. And I see this knight of wands here. Something is unforgettable. You could be connected to a Virgo, an Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait a minute. You already know. And you have, you already know. After sex with you. Oh my goodness. Sagittarius, what is going on here? The number six could be significant. You have six, six here. The number six and the number eight. What happens after you already know? And with this blue here, this is something to deal with emotions. This is about feelings like you already know, Sagittarius something like you really do Sag you already know something Ooh, they are way <laughs> oh my goodness I almost threw these cards they are waiting for you it says what's stopping you you already know sex with you Sagittarius you already know they are waiting for you 
Oh my goodness. And then you have this next lifetime. I'm not finna play. Uh uh. You have this next lifetime here with the Eight of Cups. They are waiting for you. Lots of emotions. So there was some type of connection that was very deep and unforgettable. Okay. This connection could have definitely gotten physical here with the number six. Wow, you have that number eight with strength, Leo energy. Somebody is wondering if you have the strength to come towards them or to go towards something that you know with these swords is like meant for you. That you already know is meant for you. I got to get deeper into this hidden truth. Let's see. Let's get two more for this other energy here. Let's see. I am not available. Finding out the truth crushed me. Somebody is upset, Sagittarius, about a truth. That will be revealed. That has been revealed. Somebody is upset about this truth. Because I feel like someone feels like they cannot have what they want. Something is very, very um, difficult to walk away from here with this eight of cups. With this next lifetime for someone. I feel like someone sees something. And I see this courtship. Someone sees something. And they're not happy with what they see. Let's get two for you, Sage. Oh, another six. Oh, my goodness. I know you from somewhere. There's that next lifetime popping up. Like someone is seeing you again and you look familiar to them. And someone is connecting. Like So I feel like whoever this person is, Sagittarius, There's like some unfinished business happening here. Like you and this person could feel like there's unfinished business between you and them with these sixes. Cause this is, ha this has a lot to do with the past. This has a lot to do with childhood. Wow. Hmm. This could be someone from your childhood, from your past. Okay. Or from a past lifetime, literally sex with you. I know, do I know you from somewhere? Like somebody, somebody had an amazing experience in a past life. Okay. And like that connection has seeped off into this life. Okay. You and this person is still like at a, at a certain proximity away from one another because someone is, is seeing you and you, you're just so familiar to them with this mature woman. Look, uh, you're just so familiar to them. Sag. Okay. And you have this high honor. It's almost like this person, um, can barely know you. Okay. You may not have known this person long Sagittarius. But regardless of the length of time that you and this person have known each other, you feel like you already know, okay? You feel like you already know one another. Um, you feel like you already you're already connected, okay? Very very intense. Let's get another for you, Sage. And you have the number five. I can't even look at you right now. Wow. Finding out the truth crushed me. I can't even look at you right now. There's someone here, Sagittarius, where you and them could both um, have this uh, anger or this resentment from um, not connecting or not being uh, together right now or at a certain point, it's like this, this animosity that you and this person have. And it's like this anger that you have because it's because you're not together. You're, you're both angry at each other because you're not together or you're not able to, um, you're not able to put your ideas together. I see this King of Swords. You're not able to put your ideas together or you're choosing not to put your ideas together or you're having to be patient so that you can put your ideas together. Wow. So you and someone could be upset with one another. Um, and you could feel this, this, um, 
this feeling of frustration. And it's like, you have a lot of love for this person. They have a lot of love for you. But the thing about it is, there's a lot of things that haven't been spoken and there's a, but there's a lot of things that that have been felt and I feel like it could feel like a roller coaster. Something feels crazy. Something feels absolutely crazy, Sagittarius. Um dealing with a connection, dealing with being some being with someone. Let's go ahead and clarify this tarot, you guys. Why is the emperor here? Ooh, you got the emperor and the empress. Oh my goodness. What's stopping you? This is a whole couple, y'all, in the tarot, if you didn't know. The emperor and the empress. Oh my goodness. Hmm. So this here, someone feels like you're everything and more. But there was a new beginning here with the tower and, and the food. There was a new beginning that was created. This really opened up somebody's heart. So tell you opened up someone's heart here. Yeah, because this person was very closed off. Wow. So this could be someone who's younger than you, Sagittarius, or someone who um, just is also maybe free-spirited, regardless of their age. This person was very closed off emotionally. Tomorrow's not promised. There was some type of decision that was made. Someone opened up here about their feelings, but someone left something out. Yeah. Sagittarius, someone left something out of uh, this expression. They ignore how they felt deep down here with this King of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Mm, 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 mm. And this really um, ate this person up inside. Because this person knew that they held back. They're constantly looking down. This person feels very down because someone feels like they they should have said more. Okay? They should have said more than what they said when they were feeling more. They should have showed they they should have showed their feelings more in a certain situation. Someone held something back. But there was this balance that was also being created. So this could have been something that hurt you. But it's like, I'm getting this vibe of, you know, if he don't know or if she don't know, it won't hurt him. But it really does because it really backfires on everybody. Let's see. Why is the two of pentacles here? Yep, on everybody. Everybody involved with the six of pentacles. Someone felt like the best thing that they needed to do in a moment was to hold back. Someone feels like they did the right thing by holding back. But I feel like it wasn't good for everyone. Why is the Knight of Wands here? There's something that you're working on, Sagittarius, that's really going to pay off. And it could pay off when it comes to you uh, working with others, like uh, in a group setting. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Magician. Yeah, it's something about you knowing how to get through a certain situation with this roller coaster. This is about you knowing exactly how to get through something. Exactly how to uh, make something work for you. And not only for you, but for everyone involved. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Like somebody needs you in a group. Somebody needs your input. Someone needs your knowledge and your help. With this Virgo energy. So you could be helping someone. You could be helping a group. You could be leading a group. Okay. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Oh my. The hangman. There's a lot of fantasizing that is happening. 
You could be connected to a Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. Why is the Four of Swords here? Hmm. <laughs> Somebody is patiently waiting. And then you have, they are waiting for you with this Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is about playing your seed. Putting in the work and finally watching it grow. Finally being able to benefit from your hard work and dedication and care. So I'm feeling like this is someone, Sagittarius, that you were very caring to, uh, patient with. That is showing up here. Very caring to, very patient with. Why is the uh, King of Swords here? Oh, wait a minute. What is going on? You have laughter with the five of cups and the king of swords. Somebody going to be upset either way this goes. Somebody is going to be upset. Somebody is going to feel left out. Someone is going to feel regret. It's like everyone cannot be happy in a certain situation. There's just no way that everyone can be happy in a certain situation. Let's get three for Sagittarius. You have a young male, sporty, cars, youthful. Somebody definitely could be younger than you or they could look younger than you. They could have a baby face. Could be children involved. Let's get another. Young female, youthful, music, fashion. Wow, there's two people who are uh, very, very attractive. Very attractive and... Wow, you and them could enjoy all the same things or most of the same things or you and them um, connect on a level that has to do with the creativity, hmm. with what you create. Wow, and there's someone here um, or a situation here where you could gain a lot from working with others. Hmm, Sagittarius. Yeah, with that two of pentacles, working with others, with this magician. Oh, and you have the young male and young female. And you have a true gem, valuable quality jewelry. Like something really works out. And this could also be in a relationship or a connection that you have with someone. Something is, is truly, truly special. This could be dealing with working together creatively, professionally. This could uh, deal with working together in a love connection. Something about finding common ground here with this young female, young male. Hmm. And someone really loves music. Someone really loves to um, try new things. So Sagittarius, I hope you guys enjoyed the messages that came through. This is the Sagittarian Goddess, and I'll see y'all in the next reading.